what can I say about this monstrosity that hasn't already been said a million times? The Oppressor Mark II is the result of Rockstar throwing the meta in the trash. They took the two most overpowered vehicles in the game and combined them to make a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. If you've played the game recently, there's no doubt you have seen your fair share of rockets up the ass, courtesy of the Mark II. You don't have to look very long to find a session with a swarm of these things buzzing around. If you're a mouth-breathing troglodyte whose only goal is to kill everyone in the session, this is the weapon for you. Even an unskilled player will find himself dunking on half the lobby. Welcome to GTA Online in 2019. Where being destroyed by hoverbikes happens so often, you come to expect it. Nearly every lobby has some maniac on a power trip, raining missiles on anything that moves. The community is mostly in agreement that this is Rockstar's biggest f**k up so far. They say it looks like something straight out of Saints Row. It's honestly surreal seeing the current state of GTA Online. Now, I don't have the best memory but I'm pretty sure GTA used to be a game series about street crime. I don't even know what to call it now. The Mark II has made this game much more frustrating to play, but I wouldn't call it the worst edition. The Mark II may be a grief as wet dream but it does have some actual use. If you're a grinder, the Mark II is your best friend. If you like to troll, the Mark II has a secret ability few people know about. If you happen to accidentally run into another player, there is a chance you will catapult them face first into the nearest object. It's really, really, fun. But sadly, most people would rather use it for killing everyone within a 10 mile radius. It doesn't matter what you're doing, if they get close enough for a lock, you're gone. It's not invincible however. An exceptionally good jet or helicopter pilot will usually have no problem dealing with a Mark II. But if you're a scrub like me, you still have a few options to counter them. Vehicles like the Terabyte, MOC, and Insurgent can easily tank an entire supply of missiles, just be aware they can instantly call in another bike via the motorcycle club. If you don't own a Mark II yet, you can pick one up for the low low price of your entire life savings. Good job Rockstar. 10 out of 10. You really know how to piss off your fan base. I like to believe the Mark II is the sole reason why GTA roleplay is bigger than GTA Online at the moment. I understand that Rockstar just wants to keep the game fresh, but they can do it without compromising the enjoyment of free mode. Perhaps a DLC for the casino, or horse racing, maybe even naval combat. But no, they would rather give the griefers another toy to kill every player on the map. I'm on the edge of my seat, waiting for the next vehicle that shatters whatever is left of the meta. But in the meantime, I would like to talk to you about something far more important than a video game. As some of you may know, I made a video last week about Leroy's house fire. Leroy is an active member of the GTA community and a fan of my content. His crew have helped me grind money on numerous occasions. He lost every cherished item in his room to the fire. All of his belongings. Instantly gone. I knew I didn't have the power to do much but I wanted to help any way I could. His friend and crew member Jacko, set up a GoFundMe page to help Leroy get some of his stuff back. 
I made that video not knowing what to expect, but I was absolutely floored by what happened next. We managed to raise over 300 euros for Leroy. Leroy was blown away by this. I can't begin to describe how amazing it was to see the community come together and help one of our own in their darkest hour. I want to thank each and every one of you who donated to Leroy and shared his story. You are all truly incredible.